Hey guys, it's NST, Never Stop Traveling, and today I went to Ain Hostel. I'll put it on the screen right here. If you guys want to check it out, definitely check out this video. Alright, so this hostel is a really good place to check out. Um, if you're in American Village in Okinawa, Japan, this is a, a good place to get some work done, good cafe, really good food. Um, right around the corner there's a couple of bars, a little noisy. Um, I mean, not at the hostel, but the bars and whatnot. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of Americans from on base close to here. There's actually a lot of bases, um, but if you want to see foreigners from two countries, Japan and the U.S., this is a good place to go. Um, right on, it's right on the beach, right on the coast, and so right down the street. I'm actually gonna go try to do it later. Try to rent a surfboard, maybe do some surfing if the waves are all right. Um, maybe just do some snorkeling or whatnot. But um, it's a really good location if you want to go to the beach, if you want to go to American Village, a lot of good restaurants, a lot of good cafes, um, just really a lot of good stuff to do around here. And then it's not too far from uh, Naha, there's a couple of shrines and cool things down there you can do. And it's not too, not too far from, I think it's like maybe an hour and a half or two hour bus ride up to Nago area. So it's like kind of in between a lot of good stuff up there you can go and do. Um, you can go to the aquarium. There's a huge aquarium. I think it's the world's second or third biggest aquarium up in Nago. Um, and then around here, I mean, you're, you have like a bunch of different bars and restaurants and stuff, good exploring and whatnot. But if you just want to stay at the hostel, this is actually a really cool and relaxing place because they have a really good cafe. Um, they have really good staff. They really take care of you. A lot of cool things. Um, you'll see in the video in a moment. Um, just like the cafe, the rooms, the rooms are pretty comfortable. Um, they have the traditional kind of tatami mat beds where you roll out the mat and then you have, you know, pillow and sheet and whatnot. I didn't actually get any footage of inside the beds too much. I think I got one shot, but there is outlets and whatnot inside of the beds. And the outlets are perfect because there's two of them. And so you can hook up your, you know, charge your phone or charge your computer or maybe your camera or whatever stuff you're doing while you're traveling. Um, so the beds are comfortable. It's not, not too loud. Um, what I was trying to get at is it's just like a really nice, convenient, comfortable hostel. Um, it's clean, it's good location, the bathrooms are good, uh, the showers are nice. You know, it's just like, it's got most anything you need at a hostel. Um, it is a little bit smaller, but the social is pretty good. Like, there's plenty of people coming in and out. Um, I end up meeting some Koreans and a couple other people. But um, I didn't really spend too much time here last night on my own, you know, trying to meet people or whatnot, because um, I met up with two of my friends, these two guys named Dave, Dave and Dave. These guys I, um, I knew from Okinawa about, I don't know, five or six years ago. So it was really fun hanging out with them. But um, yeah guys, it's been NST, Never Stop Traveling. If you want to see more videos on hostels and traveling around Okinawa, Japan and mainland Japan, make sure you hit that subscribe, that like and comment. And I'll see you guys later.